ask Tom on home show. Ben from Acres Homes needs some repipe advice. Well, he heard the tail end of something you were saying on the show recently, and he's written in to, to get clarification. Ben writes, I'm trying to make a good decision about doing doing repiping or not. And it says, I have a 40-year-old house with galvanized pipes, and we've repaired two pinhole leaks in the last three years. A plumber said I should consider repiping, but you mentioned something about only fixing things that are broken. I'm not trying to make a donation to the plumbing company. He says, so how do I know whether or not I need to repipe? Well, there's some specific things in this question. One is 40 years old. That means it was that second uh, version of galvanized pipe that was imported, unlike the galvanized pipe that was used in the 60s, which uh, was made a little bit better, quite frankly. It was American-made pipe, and the stuff that was imported in the 80s, the quality was not as good. So it's prone to get these little pinhole leaks in it, and if it does, that means you probably have to think about more of them happening in the future. You certainly want to fix them when they happen. But I would, I would tell you to look into one of two things. One is TDT has a ACE Duraflow system that can go in and line the pipe. Now you're fixing the problem because your pipes are fine. It's the water that's eating through and causing these little pinhole leaks. Once you separate the water from the pipe itself, you don't have this problem anymore. So you fix the problem. And that's what I would do if it was my pipe and I only had two of those little leaks at this point, then I would consider using that method to avoid any more problems and not tearing up your house, not repiping your house, because the pipes can be renewed as opposed to replaced. And it's a lot easier on you. Now, if you want to repipe your home, you certainly can. It's going to be probably more expensive in the long run because there's a lot of repair work and painting and it, it, if you were remodeling your home, it might be okay, but if you're not and you just want the pipes fixed because they're broken, that's the way to fix them. But that's what you heard me say. Now, we've had a lot of questions on the show that a lot of people have gotten parts and pieces of where every plumber in town is trying to sell a repipe to everybody in town because they see a lot of future work because of this freeze we had. And that's where you probably heard my comment that if you just had a piece of copper or something that broke because of a freeze and they fixed and replaced that little piece of copper, there's no reason to repipe the house. Then you're going into territory you should not. Right. And like he said, he doesn't want to make a donation to the plumbing company. So, you know, it, yeah. it, if it's and I and I'm candidly. I if I would I could not imagine repiping unless there was some way I couldn't do the e pipe because the the a stir flow thing because it just makes so much more sense than tearing up your house and if your galvanized can be cleaned it just to me it it's just a much better choice. Oh, there would be no choice for me. I would I would exactly do that. Mm -hmm. And Charlie, you might as well say at our website, we have a video of it. You can go to mm -hmm. uh, TDT's website and see it. And that's one of the things I like people to see because I can talk and talk and try to explain it. But once you see it, you go, oh, I get it now. So mm -hmm. it's really something you should, if you're really in the market for it, go to our website, homeshowradio.com, and go to uh, TDT's website through ours so you know you go to the right place and take a look at it. And last comment, a lot of plumbers don't offer it because they can't. So they'll say, oh, that's bad. We can't do that. Mm -hmm. I would never do that. You're going to hear those remarks, and I understand they're trying to sell a job. But the fact of the matter is there's only, like in Houston being a huge city, I think there's only two plumbers in the whole city that even has access to it. Right. It's a proprietary system, and TDT is the original here in town, and they're good. There, there, there may be two. <clears throat> but there's only one who's pioneered it and that and and yeah. continually advances the technology uh, on on drilling platforms and all that's TDT. By the way, if you're looking for those home show pros, we hide them right here on our home on our website there. And you see TDT there, Abacus Plumbing is there. So whichever way you want to go, we've got you covered. And if you're looking for plumbers or any other kind of trade, you can find them on our website by uh, we got them organized. You click find a pro and it takes you there. Now, if you want to send us a question, uh, all you got to do is go there and click on the blue Ask Tom button. That'll take you there to this it is. page. He wants to post one of these every day, and you can help us out by sending questions. Go visit homeshowradio.com uh, and uh, fill that out. And then we post them at homeshowradio.com, of course, and our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. If you're not following us on Facebook, we'd really appreciate it.